hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will show you how to access the windows operating system standard paths like a desktop location or download location or document folder locations where the any specific data are saved in specific directory so let's use that path in our application just simply include the qt core modules and just let's print the all the path Q string Q st sorry Q standard path use standard location and write your standard path name let's access the desktop location path so just simply write the, this line to get the desktop location here let's also let's print our document location path where all are the documents saved let's print the font location where all fonts are now let's run the application so you can see the path let's open the window directory fonts directory where my fonts are saved you can see the all fonts are saved in my this directory so you can easily access that fonts by using this directory location let's print the application location director where my all application shortcuts are saved application location now let's run the application you can see the start menu programs where my all applications are saved also qt creator or whenever you install any new application so that time your application shortcuts are located stored in that location now let's print the windows some standard location like music location music location movie location also print the picture location see this is these are the locations okay now let's print the temporary directory location where your all temp data are saved in temporary directory whenever you want to delete your temporary directory or clear the temporary directory you can easily access that directory by use of this path you will redirectly directly use that location you do not need to find any standard uh, windows assist or define any path by use of this enum you can easily accept that temporary directory path okay also print the home location also we call the user location home home location so you can see the our uh, output this is the user location so these are the basic standard window operating system path so where you can uh, access the uh, specific directory now let's print the catch location where your catch data is saved catch location also print the app local data location app local data location your your local settings uh, path on windows operating system for all pet, pet, platforms now print the runtime location path now let's run the application these are the runtime location where your runtime uh, runtime files communication files are stored or written in that location 
now let's print the app data location this is the app local data location now prints the app data local app data location file app data location you can see the debug data these are the app data standard path queue program data these are the application specific data location where your application data are saved now let's print the app config location where your configuration related files are written at particular location so by this way you can easily access that files of that particular di directory so these are the parts where your app data config location files are saved so by this way you can easily access the multiple directory and multiple locations of your windows operating system and access that directory easily and make a read and write execute operations about your specific related file if you want to access or write the music files in a specific directory where user interact with the on that location so you can easily write the music on music folder or directory if you want to write any pictures about any specific if you for example if you want to write any or save your software or applications pictures so you can easily save that photos on your picture location or also you want to write any some files on the specific on the desktop locations to access that file is by user easily so you can directly put that file on desktop location so these are the basic and common uh, standard paths in qt or your operating system so this way you can easily access the path and please drop your comment if you have any questions about uh, QT standard path and Windows operating system standard path. And please like the video, press the bell icon to get uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video. And share this video with your friends. And thanks for watching my video. Thank you.